Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another journal that I've made and this journal is using the Fern and Mushroom Digital Kit from Marty Mays and everything that I've kind of done to it has been inspired by Andrea as well from watching all her um, tutorial videos. Um, the journal is a hard cover and it's covered in fabric and that's the fabric. Uh, it measures, what does it measure now? It measures eight inches by five and three quarters and it has a two and a three quarter inch spine with three signatures and 184 pages front and back. And this will be listed in my shop. Um, and before I go through this, I'm just, uh, just making a little announcement about my shop. Um, from now on, all international sales will be um, tracked, signed and tracked for. Um, because I've had this year alone I've had three situations where um, things are not arriving in the US and obviously it's cause it you know it's it's <clears throat> it's bad feedback even though it's not my fault <laughs> but you still kind of get the bad feedback f for it so everything from now on will be um, signed and tracked for obviously there'll be uh, I think it's about an extra four four pounds in UK money so I'm not sure what that is in dollars but I've changed it all on my website now and the only option you will have for international will be signed uh, and tracked for so getting back to the journal just so I'd mention that now and I'm going to put a little notice up um, on my my main page um, on my uh, on my website when uh, when I finish this video actually um, so um, you can see we've got some um, eyelash trim that's all kind of hanging out the bottom and it looks quite nice I've got some fabric tabs uh, the image is obviously from the kit and I've sewn that on and then there's some burlap behind there uh, there is a hitch fastener so you just kind of press it down and that goes over you can undo it if you wish to do it that way um, and then tie it back up so you've got an op the option there and this is some sari silk which is um, I like it because all the kind of threads are coming away at the sides so I'll leave that like that so there's an eyelet at the back and the hitch fastener at the front so let's go inside as you can see it's a nice big chunky one um, <clears throat> I've just left the inside covers plain well when I say plain they've, they've got digital papers on there and all the papers everything that I've used I think is from the kit so that is and it does it lays it does lay nice and pretty pretty much flat to, to write in I've tried not to over embellish it because when you have I think when you've got a big journal and you over embellish it you just cannot use it um, like if you want to write in it that is so I've done some altered envelopes and what I did with these I stamped them I sprayed I made a, a green spray up oops, I made a green spray up and it's got shimmer in it and I sprayed that then I've done some gesso all inspired by Andrea so you're a really bad influence Andrea I've got a pocket here I've used a paper ruffle here some of this sari silk is on there with some of this green eyelash trim and then these are from the kit and I just uh, backed them onto cardstock. We've got a, a tag in there, it's been sewn onto coffee dyed paper, and then it's also opened at the back, so you can tuck things inside there. But that goes in there, so it kind of peeks through the window. We've got a doily, and we have a paper bag. There is some lined paper, there is some, um, I think this is like a uh, ledger type paper. The fabric tabs just stapled on some French uh, digital paper and we have a tag here which has all been sewn these paper clips are really stiff I've done a little bit of the spray with this green stuff <laughs> um, I sprayed that on some of the pages as well and uh, like I said a lot of the pages are quite shimmery so there's lots of journaling room page from the kit you can hear I've still got a croaky voice. Um, this belly band is from the kit and then you get the circles. So that's been backed, they've both been backed onto cardstock and then um, the circle's been added onto the belly band. We have a tag with a tab on the top. There is a doily and another paper bag. Some more ledger paper. Some music paper. You can see a little bit of... Um, 
green spray on there because it kind of it sprayed like mist and it didn't dribble out <laughs> I kind of wanted the dribble marks but it didn't kind of work but there is the tones on there with the green and I'm like I say shimmer as well center of that signature some more of the green spray on there music paper a fabric tab some ledger paper bag and a doily and thanks to Andrea I went off and bought myself some CD cases the paper ones obviously and I done some little flips I didn't know whether to keep them like floating around or just um, like glue them in but I just made a little hinge and used the printable washi tape that Andrea's um, done now, I don't know if this is part of the kit or it's a freebie on her um, website and also her Facebook group so this has all been done the same as the envelope. I've done stamping and spraying and inking up and there's coffee dyeing and um, I've put a little, I don't know if you can see that now, um, a little mushroom here and then inside the case, see if I can do this, my arms aren't, aren't long enough to do this. I can't get it out, let me see. I will have to move it to get this out. There we go. And she's designed these um, specifically to use with the um, CD cases so that was handy so I just backed that onto cardstock so it's nice and thick oh, sorry I have to move this again because um, just look, arms aren't long enough and that just slips in there and that folds down you could keep that up if you like um, and then oops where did that go and we've got another tag there so that is that be less fiddling around when you know if the, if the tripod wasn't in front of me so we have the spray on the paper again and here I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you know if you purchase this you will watch you will see it um, little envelope from the kit and there's nothing in the envelope but I've just paper clipped it on to this paper here Have some lined paper, paper bag, and a doily. Here I've just made a pocket and I've done a little cluster here with the mushroom and some of this sari silk and some of the green eyelash trim. And we have two journaling cards in there. That's the first signature. Uh, second signature, we've got another belly band with the journal card and it kind of matches there. On a doily, paper bag, some lined paper, a little tag just paper clipped on, sewn onto coffee dyed paper, some green spray, fabric tab. So, all the little that was just a little bit of uh, material left from the cover, the fabric that I used on the cover. So, I just made the tabs with that. Page from the kit, another um, CD case, and I used this printable washi with it and you can pull that out i'm not going to do it because like i say you saw me struggle to do the other one but it does come out and we have another little mushroom on there so that's like that um doily paper bag lots of green spray on there and there Another fabric tab, a paper bag and a doily, another envelope, again it's all been done the same, coffee dyed stamping, gesso, the spray that I made, there's a pocket here, a paper ruffle with some of this again, and mushroom, and inside there is this journal card, and it's open at the side as well so you can tuck things behind there. I'm, I think I'm going to make a Paris themed journal tomorrow that's what I'm thinking um, so I've made quite a lot of things with um, butterflies and nature recently so a doily another pocket here cluster with the mushrooms the sari silk and the eyelash trim two journal cards 
I love the colour of this. It's such a lovely green. Um, and I did print the printable papers. I did print one of the um, background papers on the reverse and and then lines on, uh, on this one. You can see it's lines, lines on some of them as well. So that's the end of the second, beginning of the third. Another CD case. I love these. I only bought 100. I didn't buy 500 like Andrea did. <laughs> I think that's how many she bought. And that comes out. That's coming out nice and easy. Um, so that's the image in, in that. I do like that idea. And a little journal card. It's just popped in there. And the thing is with this one, you can, you can write on there as well. Plus you've got a nice bit of decoration. Um, a doily. A paper bag. Love this page. Just love the greens in this. It's such a lovely colour. Um, some more journaling cards and a tag. Another cluster with a mushroom and some um, eyelash trim and some sari silk. Paper bag. Here we have another tag. Just popped on there. As you can see, I think it's quite adequately. As an added adequate I can't even say it now it's reasonably filled <laughs> do you ever do that you know when you're writing something I'm famous for that and I get to write to I know what I want to write and I go to spell a word and I, and I know it's not right how I've spelled it and I'm thinking okay I just find another word that means the same instead of using the word that I can't spell um, adequately I still can't say it oh my god I'm all t tongues tongue twisted today I can't say it. I think it's because I've got a sore throat. Not a sore throat, but I've got a horsey voice. Um, there we go. That'll be my challenge for tonight, to try and say that word adequately. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm going to stop giggling now. Sorry, another belly band there with two t uh, tag and a journal card. And again, the circle is um, separate, so you just cut it out and, and glue on there. And it's both, they've both been backed onto cardstock, so it's nice and thick. Um, love this page as well. They're just, do you know, I didn't realise how many different mushrooms there was. There's so many different types. It's uh, quite amazing. Another little um, envelope that you can pop something in. Another fabric tab. And so the paper bag. And another envelope with another journaling card inside there and it's opened at the side again it's all been coffee dyed stents uh, not stenciled stamped got some gesso I love the feel of gesso when it's on things and that's a pocket as well and it's just got a paper ruffle and sorry silk eyelash trim and another um, little mushroom I think that's very is that the same as that one no it's a little bit different so and that is the back so that is the journal, like I said, it's a big journal, 184 pages with three signatures and it's got a nice fabric cover. Um, I'll tie this back up. There's a little bit of a, a gold, because this is um, like sari fabric, um, there's a lovely little bit of gold on there as well, which is, adds a little bit more detail. Um, so yeah, so that is that. And like I said, you don't have to undo the the ball to um, undo it. You can just press that down and take it off. Easy peasy. So yeah, um, I will link Artie Mays below. And I'm going to thank her, Andrea for all her lovely, wonderful videos that she does. Um, because she is, I know she's inspiring so many people. Um, and she's... Um, you know she's inspired me to do a lot of different things um, so yeah so thank you for all that and you know all the time that she takes to do that which is amazing because you know some of her videos are like 40 minutes long and but it's there's actually oh you know it's taken her hours to do that it's not just 40 minutes she sat down and done that for but yeah she's um she's so talented and very clever so any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye